Dual Extrusion opens up many wonderful opportunities such as water soluble supports and dual color printing. However, a good dual extrusion printer like the Zortrax Adventure costs upwards of 2000 US dollars. So today, we are going to be reviewing this FlashForge Creator Pro. The main selling point of the FlashForge Creator Pro is that it has dual extrusion, which like I mentioned before, allows you to print it with dual colors, but more importantly, our favorite functionality that dual extrusion allows for is using water soluble support. You will have no more frustration removing supports in hard to reach places and no more manually removing supports which leaves rough surfaces. Secondly, the removable enclosure that comes with the printer is helpful for printing ABS. However, you should remove the enclosure when printing PLA because PLA likes to be printed in well ventilated areas. The build quality on this printer is very good. It has very clean cable management and it's sturdy unlike some other printers at this price point. Lastly, we will mention that we are pleased with the print quality this printer delivers and you will be too. Now, let's talk about some of the cons. The first con is that the extruder is not all metal, which means that this printer cannot print high temperature thermopolymers well such as PETG or even ABS, which is ironic as this enclosed design was made to print ABS. This is because the temperature will be limited to 235 degrees due to PTFE off-gassing, which can be harmful. The second issue we ran into while using this printer was that ABS prints stick too well to the bed and we needed to melt the print off using acetone. This printer also has a very heavy print head, which is not ideal for noise levels and print quality. Additionally, the MK10 nozzle is meant for low detail quick printing with high flow, so there is a clash of two goals. You have a nozzle that is optimized for quick printing, but a printer whose other parameters are not. So you end up with a slow printer that's using a nozzle that was meant for fast printing with a high flow rate. This causes issues when printing with the default Cura settings and requires tinkering with your slicer more than you should have to. The biggest complaint we have with this printer is the poor filament loading system. The filament unload button does not work and this means you have to cut the filament at the top and extrude the remainder out before loading the new roll in. And then the filament has a difficult time being loaded into the gears of the direct drive extruders. The proprietary Bowden tube is of large diameter, which makes getting replacement parts difficult, and the large diameter makes Bowden failures much more likely as well. Lastly, the company's slicer, flash print, is still absolutely terrible compared to others on the market due to its extreme limitations in configurability, lack of options, and surprisingly slow slicing speed. In conclusion, there's a lot of room for improvement, but that is to be expected at this low price point for a dual extrusion printer. If you want something similar but more refined, then we can recommend the Zortrax Adventure, which is well worth the extra money. If you're in Canada, then you can find the Zortrax Adventure for sale at the link below.